They're taught to accept our culture and how to grow as part of who we are. However, we aren't taught how to accept other people's culture, which results in having this perception about another individual. My partner here, Casey, is a prime example of such. He identifies himself as a Caucasian outdoor that enjoys the thought of hard work and a little bit of setting, and as such, many misperceptions about his culture can include stereotypes about what him and his home, what his culture do. And for example, some of these include like being obsessing over country music and only driving trucks, which isn't always true. With that being said, we'll examine the aspects of my partner's culture, such as stereotypes, discrimination, values, and gender roles. Uh, the first thing I'd like to go through is stereotypes. As you can see, incest and gun control are very, are really common stereotypes about Caucasians, and most of these align with just being Caucasian itself, not only Caucasian stereotypes, outdoorsmen, but I'm going through Caucasian outdoorsmen stereotypes, but they really, so most of them include being a racist, redneck, poachers, conservatives, uneducated, only the to country music, which I did. Only drag trucks and only dress camouflage, which more often than not is not true. Most of these are just stereotypes that can often be perpetuated by media such as like comedy and, and other things, like in movies too. And that brings me to my next topic, which I'd like to talk about, uh, discrimination. Um, sometimes, as a result of these stereotypes, people can be discriminated by using any of these, any of the stereotypes for name calling and labeling. Casey provided me an example as I was interviewing him of one of his own experiences being discriminated simply just for wearing like clothing he would wear in this setting, like of his culture, like for example, camo and like boots. He was once um, called a racist and a redneck, I believe, simply just for wearing that clothes, which is not true. Since you have to know more about a person before you can make a judgment call just on their attire. And now I'd like to start examining like what actual values of a Caucasian outdoorsman is. Like many of these values, that's in by the way. <laughs> Many of these values include, well, for him especially, is knowing how to take game, fish, gun ownership is pretty big, and religious belief is also important to his culture. And as well, as, and above all of that is being a hard worker, because in this culture, hard work is very valued, and it's considered very important to be a hard worker in this environment. Which, kind of brings me to my next point that I'd like to discuss about hard work. In general, males generally hunt and fish. They are also generally head of household in most Caucasian outdoorsmen setting. And for females, females are expected to do hard work just as males, such as even hunting alongside males and fishing, and helping them around with just day-to-day -day duties. So it's kind of a cooperative task for both genders. Females also, aside from helping out males and doing the work themselves, typically, most of the time, tend to the children as well, which provides a lot more work too. And <laughs> which I like to well, end where I began. By saying, growing up, we don't realize much of what other, other cultures are like until we are forced to have an, an open mind about them. But when we look and find details, certain cultures aren't what we perceive them to always be. For example, we examine the stereotypes of outdoorsmen, which can wrongfully mold an individual's perspective. Therefore, in order to avoid any misperceptions of cultures of our peers, we must leave behind any expectations we have of them based on stereotypes and based off labels from stereotypes, and recognize the individual behind the label society makes for them. 